Hello and welcome to a numbers edition of Apple a Day. This episode continues my series on text functions for Apple numbers. Today I'll be covering the trim function and this will be a quick one. So let's jump right in. The trim function removes spaces from the beginning and end of a text string, but it also strips out duplicate spaces from the middle of text. It's a really simple but incredibly useful function and it's used quite a bit. In the numbers document I have open, the first column has some examples. In the second column, I'll type in the equal sign to bring up the formula editor. I'll type in trim and press return. As you can see, trim takes a single parameter, which of course is the text that it's going to trim. I'll select the cell with the word greetings in it and press return. And it doesn't look like anything is different. If I click on greetings in column one and move the cursor around, you can see that there are no spaces at the beginning or end. So trim just leaves that text as is. I'm gonna copy and paste this formula into the rest of the cells. Let's go through these one at a time. I'll click on from, and you can see that there are no spaces at the beginning, but there are three at the end. They've been successfully stripped off, but unfortunately I'm not able to bring the cursor up in the formula cell to demonstrate. It just brings up the formula editor and not the results. But since I'm here, I'm gonna add some text after the trim function so we can better see that the spaces were indeed removed. I'm gonna use the ampersand operator, which I showed in a previous video. The link to that video is right here, and I've also added it in the description below. So at the end of the formula, I'm gonna type in the ampersand, which is shift seven, and then in double quotes, I'll type in an uppercase X and close the quotes. So the ampersand simply joins text together. This will display the letter X right after the results of the trim function, and that will allow us to see that these spaces were indeed removed. I'll press return, and you can see that the X is right after the M in the word from, and that the spaces have been successfully deleted. I'm gonna copy this updated formula to the rest of the cells. Let's look at the phrase apple a day. Editing the cell in the first column, you can see that there are no spaces at the beginning or at the end, but that there are three spaces between the word a and day. And on the right, you can tell that the trim function reduced those three spaces down to a single space. This is fantastic for cleaning up text. Moving on to the next one with the phrase spaces at beginning, it's pretty obvious that those leading spaces were removed. And in the last example, spaces all around, I'm gonna edit that. And of course the beginning spaces were removed and the duplicate spaces between the words have also been reduced to a single space. And the multiple spaces at the end have also been removed. So that's what trim does. Leading and trailing spaces are removed and duplicate spaces anywhere else are reduced to a single space. Well, that's it for today. Please like, subscribe, and comment. My name is John Martins. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day.